going on future CWIs? Welcome back to the channel. In this video here, I'm going to be going over a couple of tables on the book of specs, applying some rules using the 3D replicas. Using the 3D replicas make the concepts easier to visualize and are a big part of what makes this channel stand out from the rest, giving you guys a real advantage for the Part B exam. Let's get into the video. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out table five under pressure piping, which covers the maximum allowable well reinforcement thickness based on two factors. So the first factor is the thickness of the base metal, and the second factor is the design temperature of the piping. So the table is split into three columns for temperature ranges. Over 750 degrees Fahrenheit, between 350 and 750 degrees Fahrenheit, and below 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep in mind, as the temperature decreases, more reinforcement is generally allowed. You'll also see that as the base metal gets thicker, the maximum permitted reinforcement increases, but not always, so pay attention to the numbers and the footnotes. Now, if the base metal is over two inches, the table is gonna refer you to notes A, which says to use the greater of the quarter inch or eighth inch times the weld width. This information should be detailed in the question AWS will give you. So there are other several uh, footnotes below on the table that affect how reinforcement limits are applied. Just be sure to consider those depending on the type of joint or scenario that you guys are given in the exam. Uh, those footnotes cover things like whether it's double welded or single welded butt joints and which surface the limits will apply to. So when you're testing, use this table very carefully and apply the footnotes where relevant. So let's go ahead and do one question together, applying this table. So question number one, is the root reinforcement for G4 rejectable if it came from a six inch schedule 40 production weldment for a pressure piping that will carry product that will range from 350 to 450 Fahrenheit? A, yes, because the root reinforcement is greater than 16th of an inch. B, no, because the root reinforcement does not exceed the acceptance criteria of 532nd. C. No, because the root reinforcement is less than the acceptance criteria of 316th. Or D. None of the above. All right, first things first. We need to determine the wall thickness of a 6 inch Schedule 40 pipe. So, to do that, let's go to the book of specs, turn to page 47, and refer to the pipe schedule chart. So locate the correct pipe size and match it with the appropriate schedule. So for 6 inch schedule 40, the nominal wall thickness is 0.280 inches. Now that we know the thickness of the test weldment, we can proceed with table 5. Find the row that corresponds to the wall thickness. In this case, it falls into the third row, over 3 sixteenths of an inch to half an inch. Next, identify the design temperature range. If the temperature is between 350 and 450 degrees Fahrenheit, that puts us in the middle column of the table. So according to this column, the maximum allowable root reinforcement is 532nd. Okay, so from here, let's locate G4. And since they're talking about root reinforcement, let's flip the groove plate and use the VWAC gauge. Make sure that you guys measure the highest point of the root reinforcement and determine if it's acceptable. Okay, so I measured 764th, which is under 532nd, so it's not rejectable, and the correct answer would be B. Keep in mind that just because the question refers to pressure piping, it doesn't necessarily mean it applies only to the pipe specimen. The groove plate also has face and root reinforcements, so the same concepts can also apply there as well. Well, there you have it, future CWIs. This is part one of a two-part video. In the next video, I'll be going over table seven and explaining how to use that table. But in the meantime, don't forget to check out my website to view all the products that I have to offer that will help you guys conquer the CWI exam. I know that my replicas have been a hot seller as there is no other online store that give you the Part B practice test and the replica defect with this bundle. Till the next one, future CWIs.